A lot of people want to get better at openings, but they don't know what are the right resources. What are the books? What are the DVDs to see? Well, you know, I can tell you with confidence that here is one product which is going to help you to become a very strong opening player. It's the Opening Encyclopedia 2021. You might say, hey, but isn't this for strong players like GMs, IMs, 2200 plus, maybe for 2000 plus players. Earlier, Opening Encyclopedia was advanced, but now they have made a lot of improvements, a lot of things inside it, which I want to show in this video, which can be useful for player of any level. So let's get cracking and let's try to see what is it in the opening encyclopedia that can be useful to you. Okay, so now this, when you install the opening encyclopedia and open it on your chess base or on chess base reader, chess base reader, by the way, comes free with it. So you can open this up and then start exploring. So what is there? First of all, on the left, you can see the menu, introduction, ideas for your repertoire, Opening videos, opening tutorials, ECO list, games database, and surveys. Okay, the introduction gives you what all exists in the opening encyclopedia. Then we go to the ideas for your repertoire. Now, this is very interesting because this has all the opening articles by IMs and GMs, which could be very useful to you. So, for example, under the open games, it is all nicely put in uh, by the openings. Let's imagine you want certain recommendations in the Italian game e4, e5, knight f3, knight c6, bishop c4. So you click here and you will see that there are all these very interesting opening articles on the Italian. Let's say I, I pick some one over here, Ivan's Gambit. So you will see that this article has been written by Peter Lukács and Laszlo Hazai and they not, they make the first few moves e4 e5 knight f3 knight c6 bishop c4 bishop c5 b4 that is what is the Ivan's gambit takes c3 bishop a5 d4 and we reach this position after queen b3 and then they explain the Ivan's gambit was extremely popular so and so here these are the options uh, after queen b3 Queen e7 is a move, then there's queen f6, and it goes, and you know, there are moves that you can click in this position, and you can check out, uh, you can play here the, the game with the analysis, then you can close it, you can read further. So, so basically, these are recommendations that have been given by strong players, by grandmasters, by international masters, which you can use for your openings. Now, one of the problems that I keep facing again and again recently because of the explosion of the London system is how to face it with black. So let me see if I can solve this problem. So I go into uh, semi-closed openings. Can I find it there? Or should I go into closed openings? Yeah, closed openings. Okay. So in the closed openings, there is London system. Now I click here. And I'm checking now, knight f3, knight f6, bishop f4, c5, okay, knight f3, g6, there are all these options, let's click on this one. So this is by Robert Riss, he's a well-known IM from Netherlands and a trainer. So he says that d4, d5, bishop f4, c5, e3, knight c6, c3, knight f6, knight d2, e6, and g f3, c takes d4, e takes d4, knight h5 you reach this position. By the way, you can make the board bigger if you want by increasing the font, font size here so it becomes bigger. I can, keeping it at 110, you can increase it. So let's see here. Uh, and you can click on a game. So for example, let's go from the start. It's from black side. So d4, knight f6, knight f3, e6. You can play through many different move orders. Knight c6. CD, ED, and now knight to h5. This is what he recommends. So to bishop g3, Robert says you must play g6. Okay, very interesting. I save my knight. I can pick up this bishop next if I want to. Bishop e2, knight takes g3, h takes g3, and queen c7. Okay, 
so here is some new ideas bishop g7 then you play bd7 stop the knight castle eventually you go f6 and try for e5 okay got it so let's say i do not save this and then i go to the next uh, game here where bishop g5 is played and bishop g5 here is the position and we have a game between wesley so anish giri and wesley so where again the same position was reached after knight h5 and this time bishop g5 was played so now i go through the analysis here f6 okay bishop e3 bishop d6 g3 taking away the f4 square castles bishop g2 now anish played this slightly inaccurate move he should have gone knight h4 according to the author and there are many possibilities which are analyzed which could be uh, very useful if your opponent also improves but bishop g2 was a mistake because wesley played f5 with the idea of playing f4 knight e5 hitting the uh, knight here and pawn went to f4 now if you study this you will know exactly what to do against bishop g5 systems okay that's very cool as i go down guys i see many other games i see karyakin versus grishchuk and in this game what happened was cdd knight here f6 bishop d6 instead of playing g3 that was played in the game wesley so anish wesley bishop b5 was played so now how do you counter it since the knight is able to go to f4 it's perhaps not necessary to play this move that grishchuk played and he recommends playing a6 so it's an improvement that he has given here and you can study this it's very interesting and can be useful for players of any level uh you go on the article has many different moves possibilities like for example let's say kamsky who is one of the biggest expert in the london even before the london boom he plays here bishop e3 bishop d6 g6 and g4 how do you counter that it is explained here so in these uh, opening articles on different openings that are given here you can learn a lot of things on open games semi open games has sicilian french karo khan alekhine scandinavian closed openings has queen's gambit london system so on then you have uh, semi closed openings like grunfeld kings indian nimzo indian and guys guess the number of opening articles in this a whopping 1200 plus articles which is crazy you know on all the openings there is something or the other just name an opening and you will get on english opening do you want to meet c4 with e5 c4 with c5 all of this in great detail and open any and you have here the entire thing you can also open a database for example games for the article and all the games inside it open up and you can just click on it play through it or you can read the text which is here and you will get that as well uh, in the format which is like an article that you can read so this is ideas for your repertoire and i would say this is really important if you want a tailor made suggestion by an im or a gm or a top player then we come to opening videos and i i love this part because it didn't exist before they started it last year in opening encyclopedia 2020 this year they have made it bigger 60 opening videos with 22 hours of content so here if you look at the first one it is with e4 e5 so gm mihail marin who's very well and by the way guys the quality of the trainers or the people who talk here is very high class mihail marin on ruy lopez Uh, with d3 then neo archangels then mihail marin with the ruy lopez open variation then we have erwin lamy who is anish's second on ruy lopez exchange variation then we have daniel king on the popular italian game yanik pelletier on how kramnik fights the italian opening then we have uh, lawrence trent on the italian game daniel king on scotch erwin lamy on the two knights Erwin Lamy on the Petrov, Simon Williams on Vienna. Okay, so so many interesting. Then we can go to the semi-open games where we have Jan Verle talking about Sicilian, 
um, I am Merjin Van Delft on the G4 Karis attack. Daniel King on Kalashnikov, this famous game Anand Maksudlu from the Olympiad, online Olympiad. Anna Muzichuk also here. She's one of my favorite trainers. I just want to show you a glimpse of how it works. Let me also listen to her. So when you click on it, a board will open up. Hello, dear chess players, dear viewers. I am a Grandmaster Anna Muzichuk. And today I am recording my first video in Chessbase. Okay. It will con uh, it will contain the information about Taimano variation in the Sicilian. Uh, we will mainly look at it from the white's point of view, but at the same time I'll also try to be objective and I'll show the best possibilities for black, in my opinion. The so first can, game I'd like to show you is the game which was area. played recently as a Gibraltar tournament. Uh, actually, it was played just a few weeks ago, and this game is not only the game which uh, will be our topic for our topic, uh, but uh, it's one of the most beautiful games, and it became the best game yes. of the tournament. Amazing so I'm really game. glad to present it today. It's uh, so let's start with the game. Uh, it started with e4, c5, knight f3, knight f6. Nice you know, guys, the beauty of chess base layout is that you can take the moves back. You can, so it's not like a static video. You can also uh, sometimes analyze here a new move is created. So it gives you a lot of very interesting options to, to work with. So by the way, this game is simply terrific. And to learn from Anna is a, is a sheer joy, you know, very patient, very nice. Okay. So then. Anna Muzichuk also talks on Sicilian Taimano with f4, then with bishop e3, a6. Daniel King presents the Nidorf variation for black. Lawrence Trent, a positional weapon versus the Nidorf. Very interesting. Alex Di Shiro, h3 Nidorf. Then uh, Daniel King, aggressive Gropri. Wow. He's given this. Jonas Lampert with Sicilian four knights with bishop f4. Okay, very nice. Then we go to um, semi-open games part 2. Semi-open games you have Lawrence Trent against the uh, Tarash, French. Erwin Lamy with French Winever. Jonas Lampert on French Rubinstein. Mihal Marin on Perk with Bishop F4. Uh, Tibiaco with E4, C6, D3. Christian Bauer on Exchange uh, Karo Khan. Daniel King on Alekhine, four pawns. Wow, very interesting. Okay, then we go to the closed openings. Daniel King on Queen's Gambit declined, Bishop F4. Uh, Robert Riss on Queen's Gambit exchange variation. Ma Mihain Malin on Queen's Gambit accepted. Ragos in defense with CD5, Bishop F4. Oh, there's also Vidit Gujarati with G3 Slav. Uh, let's listen to Vidit. Or what does he... Hello, my name is Vidit Gujarati and I'm a Grandmaster from India. Uh, this is uh, four years ago, so Vidit very young. Uh, my current uh, rating is 2688. And um, now uh, I would like to show you uh, one of the sidelines in Slav. Guys, this is before Vidit became a, a pro streamer and he talks about the line which is uh, a G3 variation in the Slav. Very interesting analysis and as you know, Vidit always has top-notch ideas under his sleeve. There is E4, Gambit, Geller Gambit in the Slav defense by Ivan Sokolov. There is Daniel King on the anti-Catalan, Mihail Marin uh, on the closed Catalan, Christian Bauer on the London system with white, Daniel King an antidote to the London system with Queen C7 for black. Very nice. Yannick Pelletier, you see London is becoming very important. Vishnu Prasanna also on the anti-London system with Bishop E7. Vishnu, a very well-known trainer, trainer of Gukesh and many Leon, all the top uh, youngsters. Torre surprise for white by Simon Williams. Aggressive Trompowski for white by Andrew Martin. Okay. Uh, yeah, this was what we saw right now after uh, closed openings. Let's look at semi-closed openings. That is... Queen C2 Nimzo Indian by Pelletier, then by Riss. Oh, here is me as well. This was quite some time ago. I've given a line for black on how to play. Hi, this is Sagar Shah from 
chess based studio in Hamburg. The weather in this uh, city right now is pretty cool. It's uh, almost zero degrees. But inside here in uh, the studio, it's quite warm and comfortable. And the topic of uh, discussion. Uh, this is me with a lot of hair, yeah, guys. Me looking, looking good. And I speak about uh, a nice, very nice line with D5 here and try to explain it in 24 minutes. It's a very interesting one. Uh, there's Vidit who also talks about H4 Grunfeld, Mihail Marin on E3 Rubinstein, Grunfeld, Alexis Giro on BD2 Grunfeld, Jan Verle on Kings Indian Zemish, Yannick Pelletier on Bishop G5 for White versus the Kings Indian defense, Sagar with Fian Chateau system with Bishop F5. Here I had a new idea. Dutch Leningrad, Keres versus Korchnoi. Uh, there's also English some plans a dangerous attacking plan for white in the english and b3 e3 for white in the red t system by mihail marie then you have an a special dedicated section on opening traps and rare ideas and look at the first one nihal sarin with andre schulz yeah okay i'm here with <laughs> nihal look at the cute nihal sarin this is four years ago i think roughly uh, three or four uh, years ago. Zarin, four years. is this correct? Yes. But but your real name is just uh, Nihal. Yeah. And Zarin is... Uh... Nihal is with one of the uh, most experienced uh, people, uh, uh, editors of Chessbase, Andre Schulz. And uh, he was recording this when he was just, what, 12 years old? The name of your father. Yes. And um, name of your mother is? Um, Shijin. I'm sorry? Um, Shijin. Okay. And what are your parents by profession? Um, they're doctors. Yeah, both. Yes. Okay. And you are, I heard you are a, a strong chess player. Is this true? Okay. Yes. <laughs> Nihal always what is modest. Your rating? Um, right now I'm 24 24. 24 24. That means you are probably 15 years old? No, um, 12. 12? Yes. You are 12, okay. And uh, I heard you have already won some some championships. Mm. Is this true? Um, Use championships. You know, the conversation is very interesting, but I want to take you to a point where Nihal starts showing some lines. It's so In much Hamburg? fun. So mm, for yes. a few days. Cold to hot. Okay, yeah. Yes. Okay, show me your... You want to show some, some traps, no? Mm. Traps? Traps. Okay, then... It's like chess base. You can uh, should okay. I switch the board or this one. Uh, this was from the 2014 World Youth one trap. Mm -hmm. I was white. The ten, yeah. Sorry. Okay. Um, this is exchange variation. So white plays. I don't know what I. I don't remember what I played. Knight f3 or e3. Mm -hmm. I think I played knight f3. E6, E3. This is Queen's Seven. Gambit accepted, yes. no? Mm -hmm. takes. You play D4 generally? Oh, yes. <coughs> yeah, okay, D4 player, solid player, yeah? No tricky player normally. Knight F6, castles, A6. I don't know what is correct move here. Um, what is correct move? Yeah. I think A6 mm. is playable. Mm, Knight D7, Knight D7. Hmm? Is it Bishop B3? Ah, well, I for white, so. you can yes. play. Um, a4, you can play A4. bishop d3, ah, you, there, yes. yeah, you can play everything, dc5 is an ah, possibility, yes. bishop d3, maybe know. it's not so possible, yeah. maybe this, this is the old, ma ma old main line, huh? And this is the trap. Queen. You know, the fun thing is, Nihal is just 12 years old, and uh, Andre Schulz um, is thinking he'll show him a trap, but Nihal asks him questions in between, it's such a cute conversation. It is already, okay. A trap, and he fell for it, luckily. Okay, sure. B5. Okay, what is the most natural follow up here for black after playing B5? G4? What? Bishop B7? Yes. Bishop B7. Normal move. This yeah? is a mistake. Clear mistake. Of course. <laughs> and, and this is what happened. Oh, and you know, Nihal doesn't even wait to ask the question. Oh, okay. You have to play yes. knight 97. Okay, anything. And he took, but now I'm two points up. And I managed to win this. Beautiful. So, you know, there are all these little great nuggets of information here. Reiner Knack, uh, 
who is a very experienced grandmaster. He shows traps in the Philidor. Reiner Knack on French Winnower. Reiner Knack on Slav Defense. He is well known for his um, traps series. So these are all the videos and uh, there are 20, uh, 22 hours of videos. Until now, you would have seen that a lot of the things revolve around players who are serious, who are ambitious, who are, you know, tournament players, very high quality opening content. What about the people taking their first steps into the world of chess who want to know the basics of opening? Well, opening encyclopedia deals with that as well. So if you look at the opening tutorial section here, you will see that all different, op first of all, they are bifurcated by whether they are open games, semi-open games, so on. And then if you click on anyone, you have a basic introduction of all openings. So for example, let's say you want to know more about the Petrov defense. Okay. So from super solid to ambitious, e4, e5, knight f3, knight f6. After two knight f3, black is in no way obliged to defend his e-pawn. Instead, he can play knight f6 and start a counter-attack against white's e-pawn. And so they, they explain these basics of the opening in a short article form so that you know exactly what it is. And then there are all these um, artic uh, the, the opening articles by IMs and GMs, which we saw 1200 of them, which are linked below. So if you want something like Stafford Gambit, then this is given here on the Stafford Gambit, how to play it. Uh, then if you go back, there is also, sorry, let's go here, um, opening tutorials, open games, Petrov, and then there is Damiano Gambit, Petrov with Knight C3, so on, like so much stuff here. And you can learn any, any opening. So for example, closed opening, you want to learn about Queen's Gambit accepted. So you click here, d4, d5, c4, d takes c4. The occupation of the center with d4 is with one e4, one of the most popular ways to start the game. If black meets the move with queen's pawn symmetrical, we have two c4. In most cases, black will support the pawn on d5, which gives him the share of the center with e6, which is qgd, c6 is the slav. A third and a very different possibility is to take the pawn, which is d takes c4. Uh, and you will go and then it will say, what are the options for white? What are the options for black? Everything is explained here and you will have for all the different openings. So imagine that you study all these open opening tutorials. Maybe there will be something around 100 or 150. Doesn't take much time. You will have a very solid base on the basic opening ideas. Okay, that is about opening tutorials, which is very good web, uh, material for beginners and sort of intermediate players. Then we go to the ECO list. Now, this is something where all the openings are arranged by ECO code. This is more for players who are from the era of um, uh, informator, where everything was by AC, ECO code. You ask someone, hey, what is the ECO code of King's Indian defense? They'll say, oh, it's E58 or something like Nimzo Indian. They'll say E80. They know everything like... This is how the openings were earlier bifurcated from A00 to E99, 500 different openings. And so here you can find all of them nicely put up by ECO list. There's also a games database. So from these 1200 articles, whatever are the games, and there are 39,200 annotated games you open and you can study them. For example, you want to learn something about uh, Mora Gambit, let's imagine here and this position. So I just make the moves. I go here. I filter control F position, oops, position, copy board. And I see if there are any games here. Uh, and all the games related to Mora Gambit are here. And then I can study them. Which is simply phenomenal. Apart from this, there's also a very interesting thing called surveys. And in the surveys, you have a specific opening line, which is nicely surveyed by a top GM with all the proper analysis. So in one game, you have everything. 
so it's not like an opening article where you have um, text and recommendations it's more like a survey ki, okay if you want to know queen's gambit queen d2 this line what is happening it's all explained here what is happening here and you can learn through it there are totally i believe 7000 surveys like this of different openings but 349 of them have been updated in 2021 so the year wise so you know how relevant they are 2020 if you go to the year wise from 97 they are there so for last 23 years all opening ideas and all in this so that kind of covers you have the introduction here you have the ideas for your repertoire which is the main chunk of 1200 articles then there are 60 opening videos of 22 hours opening tutorials which have the basics of all the openings then you go to the eco list a00 to e99 games database of 39200 games and then the surveys uh, these are the surveys where you have uh, 349 updated in 2021 and more than 7,000 surveys in opening encyclopedia. I would say opening encyclopedia is pure value for money for any player from beginner to an advanced to a grandmaster. It has everything that you want to know about openings. I'll be putting in the link to buy this for people who live in the Indian subcontinent from chess base India for people living outside this Sub, uh, Indian subcontinent to buy from chessbase.com. Please check it out and uh, get it for yourself. I think it will help you to take your openings to the next level. This is Sagar Shah signing off. Uh, if you have any questions, please put them down in the comments and I'll be glad to answer them. Uh, I hope you found this video useful and instructive. Bye-bye.